you know, um, just the, the ebb and flow of a game. <clears throat> um, and, uh, you know, they, they uh, got some breaks in there. You know, we, we, were, we were moving the ball again. I mean, I think, you know, we had that, we had that turnover, that throw to Zach Ertz up the sideline there. They got, got intercepted and just kind of momentum changed. They went down and, and scored on that. And um, so nothing, nothing that they did, obviously. Um, we, just, uh, we just didn't make enough plays to either stay on the field or, you know, continue drives, execute, and score. So we watched you. As your players came off the field, three each one of them, and it seemed like some were holding back tears. It seemed like you were holding back tears. Can you describe how difficult that was for you? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough because it's so final. You know, you're uh, you're here at the end of the season. There's no more no more football. You know, for for 2018, and um, just told the guys, you know, just keep their heads up. And we we set out on a journey way back in OTAs, and, and we keep talking about having no regrets. You know, and leave everything out on the field. And they did that tonight. You know, they, they did that this afternoon, and and. Um, they battled right to the end. We had we had opportunities. So um, proud of them. Proud of the season. Proud of the uh, the adversity that we we faced all season long. And um, you know, found our way to get into the postseason. And uh, um, you know, just wish wish the Saints uh, you know good luck going forward. As a follow to that, what's the message for Hey, it's hard. I mean, it's really hard because he's so he's so down. But. You know, for me, it's about staying positive. And uh, listen, he's made many, many big catches for us this season, and continue. He he will continue to do that. And I just told him he's got to, you know, he's got to keep his head up and and uh, don't let one play define you. You know, it's it's not who he is. He's he's too good of a player, and um, uh, he, he needs to he needs to he'll embrace it. You know, uh, obviously, but uh, you know, and he'll be better for it. But uh, I told him just to keep his head up and keep keep playing. On that play. Um... Yeah. But uh, so, what, what, is that why you ran the play at that, at that point, or was there? Any Had plenty of time to get to the line of scrimmage and uh, and get the playoff. I wanted to stay aggressive. Um, just ran the play like two plays before when we tried to stick it there in Ertz, and um, we got the rough in the passer play. So it was a simple play. Got lined up and had plenty of time. What did you think about how Nick played? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's. I'm, I'm sure we'll look at the tape and 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 uh, you know evaluate that. But there's always throws you'd like to have back uh, in every game, you know. But uh, I thought the way he hung in there and, and battled and, and gave gave our offense a chance to to go down and you know possibly win this football game. So uh, I thought overall he played played pretty well. So okay. how much did the momentum change by that first mile more interception? Yeah, you felt you felt it a little bit, um, you know. But but our, we, listen, we. We had a lot of confidence. Even at that point, we felt like we were, we were moving the ball. We stayed stayed in rhythm, and um, you never scored again. Huh? No, I know, but but we felt even even on that drive, we felt like we we could have um, could have scored had we hit that play. Uh, but kind of changed after that point, and um, you know, again, credit the Saints for for uh, you know executing. What was the effect of losing Brandon and Fletcher for long stretches and Russell for long stretches in addition? To the yeah, I mean it's it's you know it's just it's hard, it's tough. Um, <clears throat> you know those guys are uh, solid players, they're starters, and and uh, it's unfortunate we lose we lose those guys for you know Brandon for the rest of the game, but those guys for periods of time it's it's disruptive uh, a little bit, but you know it's kind of been our season a little bit you know fighting fighting through that adversity and um, you know we did get them back, but but uh, credit them too for for playing through a little injury. The big, the big punt they ran. Yeah, I mean that's it's you know you kind of expect it in that situation. It's fourth and one. Um, you know you just got to be prepared for that, and and uh, you know again just a, a great play by them. On that play, um, Fletch was in the game, which would indicate to me maybe that you were ready for the fake punt. Or if you would have been in there, did you have like a? Sort We've of had our defense, our defense, defense stay um, call, so our our you know our defense was on the field. What happened? I was the one over the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were dropping in his zone and just, uh, again, you know, um, Drew did a good job just hanging on the football and letting his guys get down the field. I mean, it was just, it was just, a, just a window right there, you know, in the middle of the field and, and uh, got it and got the first down. So there were two points this season where it just seemed like it was over here and then a few weeks later in Dallas. What brought you back to the point where you were relevant going into the uh, 
Um, the guys in that locker room. Um, you know, I got a lot of trust, a lot of faith in those guys, my coaches. Just, um, you know, just believing you know, that we could we could get ourselves in this position, you know, and, and be in the postseason, being, you know, it is it is one of our goals, obviously, is to be playing in January. And um, it's, a, you know, I've said all season, a resilient group that, you know, doesn't um, – waver a whole lot you know through adversity um makes you tougher makes you uh um you know battle that much harder so those guys in the locker room really um you know fought through that and and uh, gave us the opportunity to to be in this position Doug, at the end of the I mean, I thought that we were we were we were on our way. You know, we got that. We got the, you know, um, it just felt like the momentum at that point. I mean, it was it was in our in our favor, kind of in our hands, and and uh, it's been that way all season. You know, and, and felt like that uh, that uh, sort of that magic was going to continue. Doug, did you have any special message for, for Nick after after the game, being that this may possibly come? I just told him I appreciate everything everything he's done. You know, and everything that. Uh, uh, he's done this season, and, and you know, for him to, to come in and step in the way he has, I mean, um, you know, just just told him I loved him, and and uh, you know, we'll we'll probably visit in the next couple of days. And then JP, uh, sort of a question. You can finish the game, obviously, but um, is he a guy that you know, you'd like to have back? Well, I'm gonna, you know, obviously, you know, I'm gonna punt that question and talk about that later. A couple more, couple more plays for you, Doug. Knowing that some of these guys, like Nick, like Brandon Graham, like Jason Peters, you have to make has to be in the back of your mind that decisions are going to have to be made about these guys. I mean, it's tough. I mean, it's tough because these guys, you, know, you build relationships with these guys. You spend so much time together, and and um, you know your your roster every year. Your roster is going to change. I mean, that's just the way it is. There's there's people are going to come, people are going to go, and you know um, obviously we'll we'll talk more about it. You know, in the next next few days, but. Um, when you build a relationship like that and you, you know these guys personally, it uh, makes it that much harder. You made big history with them too. Well, and that's the thing is, you know, we've 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 won a Super Bowl with these guys, and and uh, um, you know, we'll see we'll see where we go at the end. How did your defense contain this, you know, uh, explosive offense at home on a week of rest? I mean, the, the spread was the over fifty three. It didn't come close. Oh no! It, I I tell you, what, credit the defense. I mean. They, they got after Drew, which we had to do. Um, you know, I think uh, the one, the one, one statistical thing I think was the third downs. I think they were eight of fifteen on first on third down. That was kind of the big glaring statistic that kind of uh, stood out. You know, and then conversely, I think we were two of seven. So that that to me kind of is the telltale right there. We just couldn't get off the field enough defensively with fifteen third downs. I mean, that, that's it's a credit to get to fifteen, but then we got to get off the field. Um, conversely, seven for third downs is great. But you should at least convert four or five of those. Yeah, that's kind of been nice all season long, obviously, and then this game was sort of like helping that, and that, you know, a lot of guys go down in the game. What does that kind of say about you made the divisional round? Playoffs, obviously, despite that. So, what does that kind of say about the team going forward um, in terms of what they can be? As well, and I, I tell you, you, you got to have a lot of confidence uh, in 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 the, in the guys and the coaches. I mean, to get to this position, to be in the divisional round, two games away from the Super Bowl again. I mean, is is uh, it's 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 tough in this league. It's tough to win games, and even back when when a lot of people were you know counting us out, you know, in midseason and after the Dallas game, things like that. Um, it's why you play 16 games, you know, give yourself a position, you know, shot to be in this position, and um, you know, it's a credit, you know, looking forward, um, you know, it's a good football team, good football team, and uh, you know, we're gonna learn from this. We'll be better for it. But what they do defensively to squelch you for no, I just think they, they just played a little bit better. They controlled the line of scrimmage a little, little better. Um, you know, our run game just kind of, I don't want to say disappeared, but it, was, it wasn't very good, you know, there and, and uh, tried to continue to run it. And, um, it just felt like that, uh, you know, um, they – and we had, some, we had some formation issues and, and some things like that that kind of had to burn a couple timeouts there. But um, other than that, I think just, uh, you know, credit them for their effort and, and uh, you know, making the plays. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you.